If ever there was one game to sum up Louis van Gaal's reign at Manchester United, that 1-0 victory over Aston Villa there really would sum it up. That was really, really poor from Manchester United there today. Uh, to be fair, we've got the result which we wanted, the 1-0 victory, but... It, I mean, they're the worst team in the Barclays Premier League by a country mile, and that was absolutely atrocious for Manchester United. The one game in the season where you thought Manchester United might actually score uh, a few goals, uh, test Gujan on a number of occasions. It has been dog shit in goal uh, for Aston Villa this season, and it was absolutely abysmal for Manchester United. Really has completely summed up all of Van Gaal's reign as Manchester United manager, and we were a bit fortunate late on. Uh, to actually uh, win the game because when they brought on Gusted, they went for it and they had a couple of really good chances, hit the post, uh, Daly Blind, fantastic block, um, defensive work on the pretty much almost on the line, uh, scrambling the ball away to safety. I mean, that is, this is atrocious. And late on, Louis Manhouse having to bring Fosa Mensa on, who I thought should have started the match uh, today. I was disappointed to see he wasn't starting the match, but he's been fantastic lately. To, to see him having to come on for one matter to almost shut up shot lay on taking the ball into the corner flag against the worst team at Old Trafford uh, in the Premier League it's just not good enough for Manchester United and this this result this performance more than anything not not the result the result was what we wanted but the performance uh, is why I want Louis van Gaal, Gaal gone from Manchester United this is just not what I want to see at Manchester United any longer. Uh, I just can't bear this boring football. You know, too many players in that Manchester United team uh, are just not performing uh, in the attacking sense well enough. We've seen some some changes from uh, the previous games. Jesse Lingard's come out. Obviously, Martial's come out, uh, and we've seen Memphis Depay come in and Wayne Rooney. Um, Antonio Valencia's come in at the back, which didn't have too much problem there. Uh, but I would still like seeing Fo Semenza play on one side, probably instead of Rojo if you bring in Valencia in. Uh, but, you know, we've made these changes and that should be no excuse because uh, I, I wasn't too surprised to see some changes. You know, a lot of people are a bit annoyed that uh, Martial wasn't playing up um, uh, on the wing. But, you know, he's played a lot of football this season, played 90 minutes in practically every single game lately. And he probably does need a rest, you know. Uh, you can't rely on one man to, uh, to get you out of the shit each week. Uh, but we've taken the lead. In that first half, uh, that Marcus Rashford goal, fantastic to see him get yet another goal. And he really has kept Louis van Gaal in a job. Um, Christ, seven goals now in, a, in 12 games. That's fantastic to start your Manchester United's career off. Uh, can't um, praise him enough uh, that he's just been uh, brilliant. Breath of fresh air. And, you know, Louis van Gaal's really stumbled uh, on something special there because that gamble was has completely paid off there. Um, I thought first half, um, Wayne Rooney had a better first half than the second half. He put the lovely ball into uh, Valencia for him to cross it in uh, for Rashford's goal. Uh, there were some poor performances out there. Wasn't impressed with one matter. Um, definitely first half, uh, Memphis Depay was no, um, was nowhere to be. He was pretty, pretty poor in that first half, to be honest. Second half, he did improve. Um, but you would expect that uh, from Manchester United. We've improved a lot in second half performances this season. We've had a lot of nil-nils, and I thought it was going to be a nil-nil for a long while in that first half. I thought it would take to the second half for us to break them down, but I never thought, you know, you expect these sort of um, performances and results um, from Manchester United uh, this season, sort of a 1-2-0 uh, victory against these sort of shitter sides. Sometimes we've even lost. We've lost to the likes of Norwich. Sunderland drop, drop stupid points against Newcastle. You know, it's the shit sides that Louis van Gaal playing this stupid, stupid um, tactics. It's just killed Manchester United off. This has just not been the Manchester United way. We've got to make some sort of change in the summer. You know, these players aren't, aren't dog shit players. I'm not having the fact that um, this Manchester United team's not good enough. You look at Martial, he's Manchester United's leading scorer in the Premier League. And Aston Villa's leading scorer in the fucking Premier League is on six goals. That just says it all. Uh, and Manchester United's players are much better than Aston Villa's. I'm not having having this. I know Wayne Rooney's been injured and probably would have got more uh, more than uh, eight league goals had he not got got been out for a long while. But still, this this just isn't good enough. Uh, too many of the Manchester United forward line players have just not performed uh, at all for Louis Van Gaal. Uh, apart from uh, Martial and maybe Rashford, the rest have been absolutely anonymous in his time at Manchester United. The likes of Di Maria, 
uh, one matter, even though I'm, I think one matter has been absolutely poor, uh, and I'm starting to see a bit why Jose Mourinho got rid of one matter. Uh, earlier in the season, I thought he was doing fantastically well, but he's really gone off the ball uh, lately. You know, Wayne Rooney's been poor for him. Van Persie's not been up to scratch. You know, it's not, not one forward player for Manchester United has really performed at the world, certainly not world class level uh, since he's been here. And you know, it's really disappointing uh, to see. But thankfully, we've got the victory. Uh, let me know your thoughts uh, on the game in the comments below. Uh, hopefully uh, Chelsea can uh, do Manchester United a massive favour in their late kickoff uh, this evening because if they could uh, at least get a draw out of that game, it would still give Manchester United a bit of hope, which I still don't think there is hope of getting that top four place. But the worry is still if we get the top four and if Louis van Gaal fucking stays, I don't think it will happen because I think that the board uh, are starting to see that this diabolical football, I mean Real Madrid wouldn't accept this dog shit, even if they won the league they wouldn't accept this dog shit. And uh, Manchester United should not be accepting this at all. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will talk to you all again soon. See you.